What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games in this fortuitous golden age of the Steam Festival, we're going to be checking out Potion Craft. This is a medieval game where you're going to travel around and sell potions. So I hope you are all paying attention in potions, Klaus, because if you weren't, you're going to have a bad time, alright? You got to make sure that all of your mixtures are good, all of your distillations extra tight. Crystallizations? Yup, looking good. Let's dive straight on in and check it out. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can look down below in the description where I have a link to the demo, so you can check it on out. Aside from that, you'll find links to my socials, i.e. my Discord, which is a super fun place, and also my Twitch stream, which if I do say so myself, is also a super fun place. Let's play. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you found a place to ply your trade. You found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment in the garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. Spoiler alert, the wizard's going to come back, dude. He's going to be pissed, and he's going to turn me into something unnatural as revenge for taking over his property. Because wizards have real estate rights! Uh, you decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and prepping, the shop is ready for customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Okay, so potions are made from ingredients. If we take two terrarias and two water blooms and throw them in the cauldron... Okay. Bloop. Bloop. Okay. So we do that. Pay attention to the alchemy map and the laboratory wall. It shows the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. So apparently we are manufacturing a book right now. I'm pretty sure books are just those weird things that nerds use to get high. Apparently we can take that down a little further too. Where does that take me? Just to like a dead end? Okay. So I guess we'll stir. Yay! Stirring! Oh, I like how it moves along the path while you're stirring. That's pretty cool. And then we heat it. So the potion icon is touching a known effect. To find out what it does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add it, you need to bring the water to the cauldron in a boil. Okay. Nice. So we made a healing potion. And we just say finish? Okay. Sounds good. A mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredient and unlock their potential. This helps to create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using only one terraria and one water bloom. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. And we'll just kind of mortar and pestle it up. There we go. And then we throw that in the cauldron. Bloop! And there it goes. And then we take this guy right here. Oh, yeah. It condenses it and makes it easier to get from point A to point B. Okay. So we stir. There we go. It has been stirred. And then we boil. Perfect. I love the little animations right there, how they've gone with kind of like the ink. It's kind of the quill mark lines that they use, like the contouring that they used to make art back then. It's very on theme. Excellent. You made the very same potion, but used half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt will also always be optimal, so experiment and make it better. If you're happy with the potion you've made, save it in your recipe book, and then you can make it in the future with a click of a button. Okay, I'll save it. Moving between rooms. Because we have a potion shop now, it's not only to brew potions, but to sell them to customers. There's one here now. You can go to a different room. Okay. Offering your potions for sale. Every day, people from all over town and even other towns will stop in to buy various magical potions. Brew them in the lab, sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular ones on hand just in case. If they like a potion, it'll be clear from their reaction. All right, so uh, what does this guy want? Good afternoon! Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Bro, I empathize. It is impossible for me to make canned chili, canned soup, microwave pizzas, oven pizzas. I always burn my tongue every time because I'm hungry when I cook it, and so I want it inside of me as fast as possible, and I never practiced the skill known as patience. Okay, my tongue is useless now. Can I have a healing tincture? There you go. The amount of gold you receive is shown on the sell button. Sounds good. Little bit of cash. My husband has been ill for some time now, and he got even worse. He can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my husband? Uh, that'll work. We can also haggle, I guess. Okay, so we can press the haggle button to get bonus areas. All right, so there's that. There's that. Oh, I missed. Oh, so are you, like, sliding it towards the edges? I think you are. Okay. Cool. Yeah, keep on haglificating over here. Do what you can. Uh, it looks like maybe... Oh, I could have slid it right there. 
Oh, it kind of moves around randomly. Why is it moving around randomly? Oh, I missed. Does it move in the... No, it doesn't move in the direction that the cursor is going. Oh, no, dude. It's getting worse. I'm losing. Feels bad. Okay, we got to hit a few of these. I actually don't think it matters. I think you just kind of like hit them and then you're good, I think. All right. Uh, that's a bad deal, apparently. I guess we'll settle. So I got a worse deal right there than I would have got, but apparently my prestige went up. You will not always have a ready-made potion. That's okay. You can go back to the lab and make the potion they need. There's no time limit, so focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Well, that's remarkably forgiving. Mice invaded my hut, and I have a cat. He just lies on the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever. I need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison them. Okay. Um, I don't know how to get to poison. Apparently, we have to go out to the garden so we can get a terraria and a fireball. So there's terraria and there's fireball. We'll go back over here. They need a poison, which means you need to make one with the poison effect. Okay, so slightly hot to the touch. Fair enough. Let's see how far this takes us. There we go. Uh, that's taking us somewhere. I'm going to throw that in there too. It looks us like it got us somewhere, but I don't know if that somewhere is where we actively want to go. But we'll try it. All right, let's boil this thing. Perfect. Apparently, I learned how to make poisoning. Uh, yeah, save the recipe for poison. Return to the shop and sell it to the customer. I will do. All right, so here's that. And we are going to haglificate out here. I'm getting a deal out here, dude. I'm not in the I'm not in the business. There we go. We'll settle right there. Nice. Once the last customer leaves, you can have a rest in the bedroom. It's located above the laboratory. Okay. There you go. All right. You've refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you'll find some ingredients and a ladle for water. You need the ladle to make potions, so set it next to the cauldron in the laboratory. This is your shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from your garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Okay, so in my garden, we have... Oh, wow, we got a bunch of stuff out here. Is there any way to tell? So use it like a fan to cool off. But is there any way to get more in-depth information? Okay. I have no idea. Uh, what do we have going on over here? Give me a healing potion. A bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. Okay, I can do that. I've already got this one saved. But just for, just for learning purposes, I think it's a good idea that I do this one or two more times. I'm a big fan of repetition to figure things out. There we go. We've got it where we want it to be. We'll brew it on up, and there is our potion. Oh, pour water to move it towards the center. Oh, there's a new mechanic. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Uh... Yeah, I'll finish it. I don't know if that's like a better potion because I added some water to it or if it's like a worse potion. But here's a healing potion, bro. Obviously, I'm going to haggle because, you know, I'm a scumbag like that. I'm trying to get these prices out here. You really do have to kind of like hit them all on the way through. There we go. We'll finish at 13. I don't want to poach this guy too hard. Good afternoon. I have trouble in the village. Invasive beetles have gone to the wheat fields. They're eating our harvest and they're doing it fast. Okay, so he needs a poison. Uh, where is my, my recipe book? Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, brew that right there. I mean, it's faster and easier that way, so I don't see any reason to really, like, lose my mind trying to get it to work. The poison appears to be a bit more valuable. So let's score some points real fast and see if we can tick this thing on upwards to 15. There we go. Perfect. I like how the potion goes on their belt, too, when they're walking away. It's like, bloop, and it goes onto their little belt hook right there. I had some strange soup, and now I don't feel good. Do you have anything for a troubled gut? Uh, I don't know. I was going to do some more research and try to figure things out. Like, does a healing potion help with that? Do I, I have something that goes up right here. So let's try that and see where that goes. That took us somewhere. What if I do, like, another one? Let's try again. 
All right, let's experiment. Uh, do I have to add water? Oh, the potion, the potion failed. Okay, so like, I don't know exactly what that all means, but put that back in the cauldron. Uh, so I guess we got the bone field right there. We gotta figure out how to get through that. What about stuff that goes like in a different direction? Let's try out these mushrooms right here and see where these go. Do I have anything else that goes kind of like rightward? Got one that goes down right there, and I've got one that goes kind of easty. Let's try that. Let's see what's off in this direction. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep going that way, I guess. Who knows? If I can go kind of like up and to the right. There's a bone field right there, though. Hmm. I don't know what these little things are that I'm hitting right here. Like, I don't know if they're like XPs or like what they do for me. Yeah, I think these might be XP. I don't know. Um, I don't have anything that takes me over to that bubble right there as much as I would like to go over to that bubble. So... That kind of ziggy-zaggies me down south. That'll work, though. Oh, I gotta put it in there. There we go. Oh, if you add water, it fails the potion? Okay, so I thought because the water was going down, it would, like, refill the bottle, I guess. We'll just try to give this guy a health potion. Like, I've... You know. Oh, cool. So we've got talent points, too. So we can get our visibility radius right there. We've got recipe book. We've got trading, so we get more profitable. We can haggle better, and I feel like I've got haggling down to, like, an art form right now. But anyways, so we've got that taken care of. I'm just going to make the health potion real fast, and we'll see if this guy will take a health potion. It seems like he's happy with it, so I guess the healing potion works for gastro... It works for gastrointestinal issues, too. You're not absolutely 100% stuck using Pepto-Bismol anymore. Not in the future of medieval alchemy. There we go. Oh, we got another one. What does she want? Hi, are you the alchemist? I'm an herbalist, and I gather plants and I sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have, might have something that might interest you. Okay, I've got money, so, like, why not? Uh, yeah, I'll take some Tangleweed. That sounds good. Oh, it's 68 bucks for some Tangleweed? Foof! That's pricey. Apparently, Terraria is cheap, though. I'm gonna buy the cheap stuff, especially since these two are, like, the bog standards for making health potions. I'm gonna haggle a little bit, too. I don't believe in paying full price. Especially with these larger amounts. There we go. Nice, dude. I didn't even plan on doing that, but we'll give it the old customary internet nice. Uh, so we bought something from a merchant. Sweet. Uh, do you sell anything besides herbs, flowers, roots, and various berries and fruit? Okay. Well, in the dialogue, what do you guys have going on? Uh, you want a fast-acting poison. That's that's easy peasy, dude. I got I got poisons ready to rock out here. I got poisons for days. In fact, I may just make, like, a few of these just to kind of fill in my stock so that I don't have to come back and forth every single time. Here's a poison. I will haggle. Oh, I messed it up right at the end. Okay, well, he can just have it, but apparently he's upset with the result. We lost a bunch of prestige. I would like, can you give me a fire potion? Okay, I don't know how to make the fire potion, but this is called a fireball, so I assume that, like, it'll be on this path somewhere. We can give it the old college try. Yay! XP's! Will that get me there? It will. Okay. But I think we probably want to stop, like, right there. What did we get? Fire! A weak potion of fire. Very nice. Okay, so now we got to drag it back to the center. So let's do that. Okay, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We don't want to overshoot. 
Perfect. All right, so we'll finish the potion. We'll save the recipe, finish the potion. We gave the man the fire potion that he requested. We've done our alchemical research. All right, so let's throw that in there. We're going to haggle with this bro, too. I feel like there's profit to be made here. There we go. We'll bump it on up to 22, and he was happy with the result. What a coincidence. Command sent me to fight an elemental, too, and this one's fire. I've gotten into the habit of strolling through wheat fields lately and starting fires. Do you have anything that can cool him down? It's probably this wind bloom right here would be my guess. Do we have anything in the garden? All right, I'll take that real fast. We can't get the vines, and we can't explore. We're, we're fingering the hole on a tree live here on YouTube. Um. Oh, wait, that takes me up? Okay. Terraria. I mean, I don't know how to get through these bone fields right here. That's the part that worries me. Like, maybe you got to power through it with more reagents? Let's try. I want to experiment with how we get through the bones over here. There we go. Just make a little bit more mash. I bet that'll get us there. The potion failed. I wonder if we got to reinforce it. Like, on the fly. It looks like it depletes your ingredients when you're going through there. So let's take ourselves up into this thing. So it's down to there. That actually does not appear to have helped altogether that much. I was thinking maybe that would refill it, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Maybe it's on the skill tree. Like, maybe it helps us out a little bit if we can get through the bones right there. I don't know what this guy wants, though. Maybe we go around it. Let's try that. So that takes us out to there. That takes us to the right. So let's try that. We'll see what's up here before we add more stuff to it. So like, what if I stay right there? Oh, you have to go to that point. Okay. So I thought it would change the, the spot where it diverges. I don't know what that whirlpool is right there, but we're about to find out. We're getting XP. It's going to be okay. Uh, I don't know what that means. But there is a potion right there. Can I get to it? So let's just mash. No, you mashed it too much. I barely moved it. Oh, weak. Okay. I think we have something that like loops back, though. So maybe we can get whatever that is right there. I mean, in any case, we're getting XP anyways. So we'll take that all the way over to there. And it looks like we're kind of like in the realm of where we would like to be. Put the Dryad Saddle in there. Actually, just throw the Dryad Saddle in right there. And then we'll get inside of here. What is this? Mana. Oh, we made a mana potion. Nice, dude. Please don't do that. I would love it if you would not do that. Okay, let's drag this back to the center now. Oh, we might hit the skull pile. We did not hit the skull pile. Yay for us. Perfect. Uh, we'll save the recipe, finish the potion. I, I think we went about that in kind of like a roundabout way. So like... There's probably a more efficient way to do it. Yeah, dude, we went about that in a super roundabout way would be my guess, but... I only really have mana, though, so I don't know what to give this guy. Yeah, I don't really have anything for you, man. I'm still, like, looking around and doing my research. There's nothing, in there's nothing inside of there. I would very much like it, so we kind of, like... I wonder if there's something down this way. So that takes me to the left. Let's experiment. I'm a big fan of experimentation. I actually, I kind of like the exploratory nature of this. How you're just like fiddling with things. Trying to find like a good spot to be. We'll throw that in there. And I assume later on we're going to get more awesome stuff. Yep, we'll just wiggle that around. Get a few more XP's. It's a, oh, it's a slow trip, okay? I dropped it on the ground on accident. There we go. 
All right, so there we are. Uh, let's say we go out to that a little further. We'll just throw that in there. I think that's about as far as we can go to the left for right now with the reagents I have available. Yeah, let's let's bang out all that too. I mean, I don't care how far it takes us. I'm trying to get these XP's out here. Uh, I can go south again. That seems like an okay plan. I'm trying to level up right now. Wow, now we're getting into like double XP down here. This may take us out. Just because the bone field is right there. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. I don't know if I have any vastly successful way to get to where I want to go, so I'm just going to grab these right here. Oh, there's something right there. Can I get to it? Let's say we just throw a water bloom in there. And then that takes me upwards. But we found something. I don't know what it is, but we found it. Uh, let's heat it. A stone skin. Very cool. Okay, well, it took us a long-ass time to get over there, so I guess save the recipe. I don't know. Yeah, that seems like the best we can do for right now. I'm going to go to bed. What's up with the paper and quill? Can we do anything with that? All right, so it's the third. Hey, there's a bunch of goodies out here. I'll take all of that. Ooh, that's a new one. What does that do? It goes down into the right. Okay, what does that one do? It goes down into the right, but in kind of like a swirly twirly pattern. Sounds good. Greetings. I was fishing and I got a bite. As I got it off the hook, the fish bit me on the palm. Okay. I'm not going to haggle. I finished digging up stumps in my field that was going to burn them, but then as luck would have it, it started raining and they got soaked. I need to plow the field this week. Uh, maybe like a fire potion? I don't know. I don't know. We can try a fire potion, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what he wants. Weak potion of fire takes three of those. We have five. Yeah, we can try it. See if he likes it. Eh, apparently he wanted it. So I have so many cares and worries. I wash, cook, look after the children. I can spend all day on my feet. And my body is covered with calluses and corns. Maybe you can help. I mean, I don't know how to make lotion or anything. But, like, take a healing potion. It works wonders. Uh, this guy is a local mushroomer. All right. Uh, he's got these for pretty cheap. And he's got those for pretty cheap. So it looks like mushrooms are usually pretty swirly twirly, whereas like these plants right here are much more tighter and ziggy zaggy. Uh, yeah, I'll take like, I got 212 bucks. I'll take like four of those. Four of those. I'm gonna haggle on it though. I feel like the uh, possibility of getting our costs down is pretty good right there. So there you go. We saved a little bit of mushroom or a little bit of money. Nope, only mushrooms. Okay. What else do you have going on? A strange guest came. He has a great fear of fire and refuses to use candles. However, he demands light in his room. Do you have anything that can replace candles? Uh, it's kind of a weird request. Um, maybe? I don't know. I mean, the fire direction is over here. So, like, it's possible, I guess. Yeah, let's take a little trip, I suppose. See if there's anything in this direction that works. Okay, we need to go upwards now. I do have a little bit of up right there. So throw that in there. Just kind of see where that takes us. I can go left again. Let's try that out. Hopefully I'm not over-dedicating right now. Um... Maybe south a bit? Okay. And that takes us back out west. Let's try that. Maybe this will take us somewhere good. I don't see any potion nodes around here. That sort of worries me. 
I would like to see potion nodes. I got stuff that goes downwards, though. So I can throw that in there just to go, like, to here. And then maybe we'll scout out a little bit down here. Looks reasonably safe to grind, although there are kind of... Oh, there's a potion down there. Hello, potion. How are you? Let's go see what it is. Oh, I messed it up. I was so close. I could have got the level two. No. The closer you are to the outline, the better your chances of making it into a level two libido. Oh, okay. We've apparently made medieval Viagra. Fair enough. Um, I have no clue how we're going to drag that back. But we've got apparently a weak potion of libido. Um... Yeah, dude, this guy was looking for a candle, but I'm going to give him a boner pill. Oh, he doesn't want that at all. Doesn't want that at all either. Mana? No. Three robbers attacked me yesterday. They wanted my money but couldn't find any, so they gave me a beating. Okay. Uh, he needs a health potion. There you go, buddy. Hello, I heard there was an alchemist in town, so I came to say hi. I'm a sorceress or a witch. That's what the locals call me anyways. I just didn't just come out of curiosity. Do you have poison? I do have poison. The price seems good enough on that that I kind of want to haggle. Let's say if I can hit all those, we make good money. Didn't get any prestige for it, though. Apparently, there's a potion of light around here somewhere. We just haven't found it yet. Let me go with my level ups real fast. And I'm thinking, actually, one of the best things you can probably level up is probably your visibility. Like, just being able to see so that you can work towards things seems like a really, really good plot. Let's go back up to our bed and we'll sleep for another day. But yeah, this is Potion Craft. I like it. I think it's a cool little relaxation game. I love all these little work sims that are coming out. I'm a big fan of weird, dull, sort of monotonous work games that end up being fun because you're doing repetitive tasks. I don't know why that particular aspect of gaming speaks to me, why gamifying just everyday activities seems to actually work out really well for keeping people engaged, but it works that way for me. So I'll see y'all later. Get Potion Craft down below. You can play the demo for yourself and see if you like it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll see y'all tomorrow something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Bye!